Yes. Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Gordon Ramsey. I'm the Wichita Police Chief. I'd like to welcome you on this uh, important day for our newly promoted staff. Um, any city councilors that are here, I want to thank you for our support as well. And uh, this is a big day for our promotees and their families. And we are promoting some of our best and brightest people today. And as we make these promotions, um, you know, your role in the department is changing. I know some of you have been in it for, for a few weeks already, but, you know, I encourage you to look at what leadership is and means to you. Um, you know, we're always learning in our life and our careers, and, um, you know, the learning never stops. Um, you know, I know all of us up here and some of our most senior people think they've seen it all, and the next day they realize they just simply haven't. So, you know, we all want to be the best we can be, and what do we need to do to be the best out there? And we ask that question frequently in leadership. I ask it um, all the time. In your new role, I want you to continue to look at leadership and focus on being the best you can be. Uh, I learn the most from other people. And, you know, a few things that I've noticed over my career and read and learned about is about good leaders. And I say these things. I, this is what I aspire to be. I don't stand here and say that I am... Um, you know, the most, the, the best leader. I learn and am working on my leadership every day. But, um, you know, some of the attributes of leadership that I see that are important that I want you to consider are, you know, leaders, good leaders, make the workplace a better place. They maintain a positive attitude. And having a positive attitude in our line of work can be difficult at some time. Sometimes policing oftentimes is a very negative environment because of the things that we see and have to deal with. And it takes an effort in many cases for us to remain positive despite all the, the bad things and difficult things that we deal with. But without leaders throughout the workplace that maintain that positive environment, take charge by pushing optimism out there, uh, without them we would flounder. And in tough and challenging times, our best leaders remain optimistic uh, and positive, as often you see on the shifts where they take on the personalities of their leaders. Can't tell you how many times throughout the years where I'll go to a shift or a unit and you can see, you meet the leader, you meet the supervisor, and then you see their, their folks and they take on that leader's demeanor. And that's the impact that you can have. Our best leaders also work very hard. They're the ones you can count on to be there when help is needed. Very important in our line of work. The other thing is they speak up and call others out. They don't allow the toxic naysayer to impact their partners. They have high standards for themselves and others hold others accountable, uh, but also they have a sense of humor and don't take themselves too seriously and create a workplace where it is fun and laughing is part of the day. I think one of the most important traits of a good leader that I want to make sure that we push throughout the organization is one who treats others well. Um, all of us can probably think of bosses who, who yelled at us or talked down to, and about the only thing I ever learned from bosses like that was how not to be as a leader. Um, we need to take care of each other. And in policing, we know that it is a very difficult job, difficult career. And when I say take care of each other, uh, I mean that the toll that the job can take on us. And uh, those of us that are, those of you that are out on the streets dealing with it every night, it takes a toll. And we need to be aware of our coworkers and be sure that we are there to help them. Many who may be struggling as a result of issues going on in their life or career, we need to simply take care of them. For those of you who are being promoted today, I want you to uh, keep working hard. I want you to give uh, feedback, uh, seek feedback on what you need to improve from those that you supervise uh, and those that you work around. A uh, former coworker, former supervisor once told me a good insight into someone's character is when they do not get a promotion that they so desperately want. So for those of you that are in the wings uh, waiting to be promoted or trying to get promoted, don't forget that people will watch the way you handle disappointing news and your character will be judged. Uh, so continue doing the right thing to make a difference and improve our wonderful organization. And whether you're a sergeant or lieutenant or captain, your footprint in this organization is growing uh, and you are being counted on to make a big difference. Help us move the department forward. We always need to be looking for new ways to do things, new technology, uh, new ways to improve our success and help us get there. Make a positive difference for this department in policing as you enter your new phase of your career. 
And uh, congratulations to each and every one of you, and I'm very proud of you. Uh, the next part of our promotion ceremony is uh, we're going to read uh, the backgrounds, give you a little insight into those that are being promoted, starting with Sergeant. Uh, and uh, if Lauren Johnson would come forward, Lieutenant Mama is going to read uh, some information on Lauren. Bring your family up with you. Can you bring his family up? Yeah, yeah, please. Bring your family yeah. up, please. Bring the family up. Good afternoon. So I'm honored to get up here and welcome Lauren. Lauren Johnson is a senior member of our department. He's actually the 21st most senior member of our department. So, but that's because he began his career back in July of 1989. And when he got out of the academy in December, he worked in virtually every field bureau there is. But you gotta remember back then we only had two. <laughs> so, in September of 97, Lauren was promoted to detective. And over the next 21 years, he worked as an investigator in the Exploited Missing Children's Unit, the gang unit. Special Investigations Bureau. He's even served as a defense tactic instructor and his experience is deep and his knowledge is vast. Throughout the course of his career, Lauren has also received a bronze wreath of valor, two bronze wreaths of merit, a 20 year service wreath, I'm gonna need to update that. And he has been given a gold award of valor from the Kansas Association of Chiefs of Police. Lauren's family is today they're here with him, his mother, Mary, his two adult children, Haley and Nate, and their family members, and his significant other, Marla. He will be pinned by his granddaughter, Graceland, whose generation he now will truly serve in hopes of making the world a safer and a better place. Congratulations, Sergeant Lauren Johnson. Virgil, will you come forward and bring your family with you, please? Virgil, I'm going to have you go ahead and introduce your family. Okay, well, I'll start by the ones who stayed in the audience. My uh, <laughs> mother and father, father-in-law, Carl and Eileen. My wife, my oldest daughter, Teresa, and her family, Nate, Grayson, and brand new Caroline. My daughter, Monica, and most of her family, Tristan, Samuel, and Haley, and my wife, Laura. All right. Thank you. Virgil began his career with the Wichita Police Department in 1990, making him a 29-year veteran of the organization. After graduating the academy, Virgil started as a patrol officer in Patrol West. He worked assignments in both the West and South Bureau. As a patrol officer, Virgil served as a field training officer, a traffic officer, and a community policing officer. In 1996, he transferred to the support service unit as a motorcycle officer. In 2007, he was assigned to the community affairs unit to be a school liaison officer. He is a certified DARE officer. 
Since 2005, Virgil has testified in court as a drug recognition expert. He is certified Kansas law enforcement and a standardized field sobriety testing instructor. Virgil has attained his associate's degree in applied science and criminal justice from Eastern Gateway Community College. In 2010, Virgil was promoted to the ranks of detective and saw assignments in about every place in property crimes, larceny, financial crimes, burglary, and then the exploited missing child's unit. Since October of 2018, he has worked in partnership with several other officers and the detectives on the development of our new records management system. During his tenure on the department, Virgil's earned two life-saving awards, two bronze wreath of merit, one for 20 years of service, and several of the safe driving awards. The Cedric County Sheriff's Department uh, Certificate of Accommodation and numerous CPR awards. He would have a sergeant badge pinned by his wife, Laura, today. Sergeant Teddy Wisely, you want to come down with your wife? <clears throat> Let me introduce your wife. Tristan. That's my wife, Tristan. There you go. Uh, prior to joining the Wichita Police Department, Sergeant Wisely served as a sergeant in the Marine Corps and graduated from Wichita State University with a degree in integrated marketing and communications. In 2011, Sergeant Wisely began his career with the Wichita Police Department, starting out in the Patrol East Bureau and later in the Patrol West Bureau. While working in the Patrol West Bureau, Sergeant Wisely was awarded the Wichita Police Department Officer of the Year Award, the Wichita Crime Commission Officer of the Year Award, a Silver Wreath of Valor, a Bronze Wreath of Merit, a Life Saving Award, the Red Cross Hero Award, and many certificates and commendations. During his time at the Patrol West Bureau, Sergeant Wisely worked closely with the Community Policing Burglary Assignment Team and detectives to address issues within the community. This work led to Sergeant Wisely creating the Wanted Persons Database and the development of the now active Wichita Police Department Drone Program. Sergeant Wisely worked diligently to address crime and his, and his work led to the arrest and prosecution of several habitual offenders. Currently, Sergeant Wisely has many responsibilities on the, on the police department. He serves as the WPD drone team leader, the project manager for the implementation of the new police records management system, the WPD designee for the new CAD selection team. He's the system administrator for the Gentech police camera system. He serves as a liaison with Wichita State Student Cooperative Ventures. Uh, he's also a member of the city of Wichita security assessment team, and he serves as the president of the board of directors for the Wichita Police Benefit Fund. Outside of work, Sergeant Wisely spends his free time with his wife and three kids, and whenever possible, he volunteers within our community doing cleanups and building pro uh, projects. And I believe his wife is going to pin his badge on him. First off, I just want to say uh, shout out to the United States Marine Corps, Teddy Wisey. Oorah. Come on. Marine Corps, that's the Marine Corps salute. Oorah. One, two, three. Oorah. You, you people are terrible. <laughs> Lieutenant Santiago Hungria, please come forward and bring your family. And you people are still terrible. Here, you can enter 
Judaism. This is my dad, Santiago, my mom, Carol, my son, Santiago, my other son, Braden, my daughter, Madison, my mother-in-law, Karen, my father-in-law, Tony, and my wife, Kristen. Chief quizzed me on that before. <laughs> <laughs> In case you guys didn't know, there was a theme, Santiago. <laughs> All right, uh, Santiago began his, began his career with the Wichita Police Department in the summer of 1995, making him a 24-year veteran. After graduation, he was signed to the Patrol West Bureau. Back then, we only had two bureaus. Over the next seven years, he was a police officer. He served at Patrol South, Patrol West. He also served as a uh, SCAD officer, served on Third Watch, and as a community policing officer. In the fall of 2002, he was promoted to the rank of detective. We had the pleasure of working in uh, undercover narcotics together down there. Uh, he was promoted out of there to uh, the rank of sergeant. He worked on second, third, and fourth shifts, the north, south, or yeah, north, south, and east bureaus. And since the summer of 2014, he's been assigned to the Property Crimes Bureau. He graduated from Wichita State University in 1998 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice. And during his time on the PD, he's received numerous awards. He's had the 20 years service of uh, 20 year service wreath, bronze wreath, two bronze wreaths of merit, one life saving award, three civic achievement awards, two distinguished awards, 20 year safe driving award, the 15 year perfect attendance award, five certificates of commendation, and multiple commendatory performance reports. He's also the Kansas Association Chiefs of Police Silver Award and American Red Cross Good Samaritan Award. He's been married to Christy for seven years, and between them, they have three children Santiago, Braden, and Madison. Santiago is going to be penned by his wife, Christy. Morhan and family, please come up. I'll let you go ahead and introduce the family members that are here with you. All right, thank you. Uh, Lieutenant Kim Wertheim is a native of Wichita and a 23-year veteran of the Wichita Police Department who began her career in June of 1996. After graduating the academy, Kim served as a patrol officer in the Patrol East, Patrol West, South, and South Bureau. As a patrol officer, Kim served as a school resource officer and a community police officer. In April of 2011, Kim was promoted to the rank of detective and assigned to the Exploited and Missing Child Unit. In April of 2018, Kim was promoted to the rank of sergeant and assigned to Patrol North uh, Third Shift. Kim has a degree in human resource management uh, from Friends University. Kim is the proud mother of two daughters, Lakeisha and Ashley. Lakeisha is a graduate of uh, University of Kansas and is currently living in Washington, D.C., working as the event manager for the Capital One Arena. Ashley is a sophomore and track athlete at Wichita State University. And Kim and I have had a chance to work uh, the past uh, year. I've been her supervisor. I really, you know, met her throughout the, her 23-year career, but never actually worked with her. Uh, but uh, she has a, this is just coming from me and my observation, she is a true role model for a lot of people out there, men and women. But for the single moms that are out there, uh, during this 23-year career, she was able to be a single mom and manage and balance the uh, art of taking care of a family and working in a heavily masculine environment and still succeed and become the leader that she is today. So at this time, I'm gonna have uh, Lieutenant Wareheim get pinned by her daughter, Ashley.
Captain Allen. Would you like to introduce everybody? <laughs> well, I have the honor of reading uh, Jeff's bio here. Jeff is a 25-year veteran of the Wichita Police Department. After graduating from the academy, he was assigned to the Patrol North Bureau, where he spent time as a patrol officer, field training officer, and SCAD officer. He was promoted to detective in 1999 and worked in the Special Investigations Bureau in the undercover section. He was promoted to sergeant in 1999 and was assigned to Patrol East on third watch. Jeff was transferred to the Patrol North SCAT team where he supervised that team for five years. In 2004, he was promoted to lieutenant and he spent four years as a watch commander at Patrol East and then transferred to the training bureau where he, sent, where he spent six years. At the training bureau, he was assigned to the in-service training and recruit sections and then transferred to the firearms range where he spent uh, five years as a range master. Jeff transferred back to field services in 2014 and was assigned to Patrol East became the interim bureau commander for Patrol East during the search for the new police chief. He remained in that capacity until 2016 when he was transferred to the Special Operations Bureau and took the task of putting together that bureau and reestablishing the, re the centralized traffic section. This included the acquisition of two federal grants to purchase 16 new motorcycles and equipment for the motor section. He also took on the challenge of overseeing and renovating uh, of a new facility to house the Special Operations Bureau, which was completed uh, earlier this year and is now fully operational. Uh, and those two items were no easy task. I don't know if anybody in here has ever worked with uh, some of the, the building maintenance sometimes, but uh, it's, it can be interesting. Um, Jeff uh, did a fantastic job on, on both, where that new facility is, it really turned out nice and the uh, traffic section is working wonderfully. No doubt uh, a big part of it uh, is due to Jeff. Uh, he did obtain his bachelor's degree from Wichita State University in Administration of Justice in Spanish language. He served as an interpreter for several years while he was an officer, detective, and sergeant. During his years of service, he has been awarded the Bronze Wreath of Valor, uh, seven Bronze Wreaths of Merit, two Distinguished Service Awards, the Police Commendation Award, five Certificates of Commendation, the 20-Year Safe Driving Award, and the five-year Perfect Attendance Award. Award. He is married to Latavia, and together they have six children. In his free time, Jeff is an accomplished golfer. Is that true? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and enjoys working on their vacation home in Northwest Montana. Jeff will be pinned by his son, Tyler, who is a police officer in Bozeman, Montana. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of our uh, ceremony today. We do have uh, refreshments out in the hallway if you would uh, like to stick around for some fellowship and congratulate our new promotions, uh, that would be great. Thank you very much for being here today. And if uh, all those promoted today could come up for uh, pictures before you disappear, that would be great. Thanks.